Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is a color changing top coat. It's called Dragonfly Glaze by Folk Art. Now what this really is, is a high gloss varnish with a super fine color changing glitter in it. It's really cool. I actually bought all six colors because I was just mesmerized by these. Okay, so what I need to say first before we even get started is they recommend if you want that really dramatic effect, which we all do, you have to put at least three coats on and wait two hours between each coat. And it takes 24 hours before it's completely cured. So that actually makes sense because it's a varnish and you have to do that anyway with a regular varnish. So, you know, it's good information to know. This is not a paint, even though you see it and you see all these pretty colors and you, you want it to be a paint, it's not a paint, it's a varnish. So let's get started. Oh gosh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys. Okay, so there's no color names. Since it's a varnish, it's not a paint, there's no color name. All they've done is given it a number. So this is number 44380, and this one is 44381, and so on and so forth. So they have color numbers. So for us to remember what is what, I have a pen here, and I'm gonna try to remember to write down the color number next to where I've swatched. So this is a varnish. We really should put this over paint for you guys to be able to see it properly. I have some chalk paint here, and I have some darker colors right here of soft body uh, acrylic paint. So let's get started. And I'm just gonna grab willy-nilly, because you know what, if you go, if you look at this top thing, I think all those stickers might be the same. They're just like little holographic stickers. So the point of me swatching this is so you guys can see what's what. All right, we're just gonna grab this one. This is number 44381. Now the color, the sticker on the front is a little different. Uh, I, I should say that. This one looks green, this one looks red. This one looks more green and green and orange and yellow. And so they are different. I would say look at this and don't look at this because that, I, you really can't tell anything by that top sticker. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the first one that looks like purple, kind of red and yellow. So I'm gonna put it right here on this red one. I went ahead to save us time. I took the plastic wrapping off on the outside and then I took off the little seal right there. Okay, let's dip into this. Now it does, it looks like glue, guys. It looks like glue, but it's gonna dry clear with all the little glitter in it. Ooh, very cool. Okay, oh, I can't wait to see this dry. It's, I can already, it's not even dry, but I can already see all of that glitter in there. Oh gosh, before we forget guys, I need to write down this number next to it so we'll remember what I put where. So this is number 44381. Okay, where do I write this at? Four, four, three, eight, one. Okay, so that was there. Now let's go to, here's a green one, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this green one on here. This is 44384. This stuff is so beautiful. Okay. I'm trying to do the same color families because I think we're gonna get a more dramatic look that way. But I guess you could play around and do any color family anywhere. Like for instance, you could do the green over the pink. I mean, I don't see why not. Okay, I'm just cleaning my brush off. Okay, so here's gray. What should we put over gray? Oh, I know. How about this purple, blue, green combo? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot I have to put this color number, so let's see. 
This was 44384. Okay, oh gosh, where do I write this at? 44384. Okay, so this one is 44383. I'll write this down first. 44383. Okay, so we're putting this purple, blue, and green one over the gray. It's drying, guys, it's drying so much faster than I thought it was going to. It's already clear now over here. It goes on, it goes on like a milky, a milky white like Elmer's glue. That's, that's the best way that I can describe it. Um, and then it dries down pretty quickly. Okay, so what are we going to put on this one? Let's see, I'm going to try um, 44385. It looks like green, yellow, and orange. So let's go ahead and write that number down, 44385. Okay. Ooh. Very pretty. Okay. Oh, guys, this green on top of that green is so pretty. Now we have blue here, so I think I'm going to use this. It's blue, purple, red combo. Oh, what color is it? I have to know what color it is. 44382, so we'll write that down. 44382. And I actually keep all of these um, swatch cards that I make for you guys. I have a drawer and I keep them. So this is actually going to help me um, reference back to what looks like what. So I'll know which one I want to grab. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more on there. I just want to make sure that really that we can see. Okay. So this one, we haven't used this one yet. Why don't I go ahead and put that over the teal? This is uh, blue, yellow, uh, red, and purple. And this is going to go over teal. Guys, can you see that, how it really looks like Elmer's glue? It's like white. Okay. I wonder if it's like um if it's like a um I want to say a gloss mod podge, like a gloss mod podge with with glitter in it. Okay, so we have pink here. I've already used all the colors up, so we can use whichever Whichever. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this like purple one. It's just like red to purple to blue. I'll put that over the pink. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember what I put here? I forgot to write the number. Okay, this one is 44382. So 4438. Two. What did I put on the other one? I think I can't even remember. I I can't even remember what I did. I think it was this one. Yep, I think it was this one. Four four three eight zero because I haven't put in that anywhere else. So four four three eight zero. That's what I did for that one. Okay, good. 
Now I have this light blue. What am I going to put there? Well, how about let's choose one of the blue colors. I'm going to do this one. 44383. Three. So I'll write it down first. 44383. Three, eight, three. Clean my brush. Get plenty on there. Next color. Okay, so we have a brown here. What would go good over brown? I'm thinking yellow. So where's our yellow one? Um, hmm. I'm thinking I'll do this one. Uh, four, four, three, eight, five. Okay. I hope this isn't too boring, just putting glaze on stuff. But if you want to go to go ahead and zoom to the end of the video, that's okay too. Or if you want to <laughs> listen to me ramble, you can stay where you're at. Okay, cleaned my brush. Oh, that's actually really pretty over that. Okay, now we have this brown. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I might put this one four four three eight one. Okay. Okay, I already know my favorite. I think that one right there four four three eight four is my favorite. I love that over green, but you guys, I'm sure nobody's surprised because I love green. You guys all know that. Said it 50 million times. Green makes me feel peaceful. I just love it. Makes me feel connected to the earth. That's a good question to ask. Hey guys, let me know. What is your favorite color and how does it make you feel? Because you know, color makes us feel things. Okay, we have this orange color. I'm going to use this one, 44380. Oh, 80, okay. I can't stop looking at that green right there. I love it. I hope this is going to show up on camera. I hope I don't end up with a, a video that you guys can't even see what I'm doing. That wouldn't be any good. Now I can see, I really can see why they say put several coats on for a more dramatic effect. But just one coat is really cool. It, it already is. Okay, so we have black. Oh my gosh. What are we going to put on the black? I think, I think I'm going to put this purple on top of the black. 44382. Okay, this purpley, purpley blue combo. Now, what also what I want to be able to, oh gosh, that looks so magical. Okay, the purple on top of black is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love that combo. I'm really, really interested in seeing if the if these glazes how they look on dark colors. If they look better on dark or show up more on dark or if they look better on light, we shall see. So I have some dark colors here. Now I wanna show you right here. Okay, this looks black, it's not black. This is actually a really dark green. So I went ahead and swatched it again and I watered it down a little bit so you can see how beautiful that green color is. Okay. Let's see, we have one, we have six colors here, and okay, we'll be able to use all of them on these swatches. So I'm gonna start with this purple one again. I'm gonna, well, I'll, no, that's, this is gray. This is a really dark gray, so I'm gonna use something different on that one. I'm gonna swatch this purple right here on this dark blue. So this is 44382 again. 
Okay. Now it's interesting when you put when you put the um, like the purple dominant glitter over purple or over you really you know over the color that it most resembles it's really cool I think it's most beautiful that way but I think you can put any of these over black and it would be dramatic but I really love the purple over black okay this one is oh gosh this one is I think I'm gonna put this one over which one should I put over pink I'm gonna put this one over the pink this is 44380. Okay. And it, it, it dries down pretty quickly, even though they say wait two hours between each coat, you really start to see what it's going to look like pretty quickly. So that's good. All right, I am going to put this one over this blue right here. 44383. Three. Because this is dominantly, dominantly, did I just make up a new word? I might have. I do that. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, oh my God, that is so beautiful. So this 44383 is mostly blue. And when you put it over blue, wow. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the paper in a second and when it dries down just a bit, move it in the light so you guys can see everything. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one and go over, I'm gonna go over these two. This is purple, and this is a red. And this right here is 44381, and this is mostly like the red one, so. Okay, I'm so glad I decided to write all these numbers down, because you know we would have never remembered what went where? Oh my God, that's a winner. Okay, this color on top of red is amazing. So that, okay, so that is my tip I wanna tell you guys. If a color is dominant, like this is the this is really dominant red, put it over red. If the, the color that's dominant blue, put it over blue. If you do that, you're gonna get, it's gonna be so much more beautiful. Oh my gosh, you know they should have that. They should put that somewhere on here, looks best over blue colors, looks best over red. That's, that's what I think. Okay, so I'm gonna put this green over uh, these two greens right here, and then I have one color left I'll put over that gray. Okay, this is 44384. Four four three eight four. Four four three eight four. Okay. So this is the dominant green. We're gonna put over green. Oh my god. Oh, look at oh my god. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about this. I love it. Who doesn't love sparkly things? But what makes it more amazingly fabulous is the glitter matches the color underneath. I love it. This makes me happy. Okay, so now the last color we have is the 44385, which is a dominant yellow. 44385. Okay, here we go. Let's look at how it looks over, oh my goodness. Guys, there's a lot of, I know it says it's like, it looks dominant yellow, but there's a lot of like, there's a lot of red or pink, not red, there's a lot of pink. It looks, it looks almost pink. Okay, let that, let's, well, maybe it'll look different when it dries down, because it still has that like, you know, Elmer's glue look to it. We'll see in a second. 
Okay, let me move this out of the way and let's see if this is dried down enough where we can actually see it. Okay, guys, the milkiness, the milkiness is gone away. It's dried down enough to we, where we can actually see. I hope you guys can. This is amazing. Okay, this, when they say right here, put at least three coats on for a dramatic effect, I agree with that. Even though this green really is popping, this color right here, the 44380, I must have not put very much on because it's very uh, a light glitter. This is heavy glitter. This is heavy, but if I were to go over this several times, it would just be magical. Like when I first saw these, they had like, um, Oh gosh, it, they had like a little demonstration thing and they were colored and it was, I, it, I just, you look at it and you're just like, I want that because it's so beautiful. So I would definitely go over this three times just to, you know what I'm going to do right now? Let's see. Let's go over this one more time. 44380. Where's that at? I'm going to find that. I'm going to go over that. Four, four, here it is because I really want to see how dramatic that's going to be. There's something in there. Let me get that out. I didn't wait my two hours, guys. I don't follow the rules sometimes. Okay, so while you guys weren't looking, I used my heat gun. I have my little heat gun right here, and it took all of about 10 seconds, and I dried down that top coat so we could see, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, what an impact. This is two coats right here. This is the only one that I have two coats on. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go away for a second. I'm going to put a second coat on everything, and I'll be right back so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so I'm back, and what I've done is I've put three layers, just like they suggest on the bottle. There's three layers of this top coat, and what I've done to speed up the drying process, I did use my heat gun and I, guys, it, it actually worked just fine. So, you know what? I will tell you my opinion. This feels like, it feels like a Mod Podge, a high gloss Mod Podge with, um, with this glitter in it. But, I mean, that's fine for me. I mean, I'm not going to judge it for that because it is a craft product. This is not something you're going to be using like on fine art. This is, this is craft supplies. I love my craft supplies and I love my high-end and I use them, I interchange them together. To me, it's all the same, it doesn't matter. As long as a product performs, I don't care how much it costs. Okay, so that's what it feels like. It feels like a high gloss Mod Podge with glitter in it. But, guys, what they recommend on here, the three coats is totally, I would totally do that because just, I'm just going to tilt this in the light so you guys can see how amazingly beautiful this is. Oh my God, so pretty. And here are the darker colors. Look at that. You can really, really see the glitter over the darker colors. So what I would recommend is you lay down a really, darker than you think, because if you guys remember at the beginning of this video, that was almost black. That green was almost black, and now look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so fabulous. All of these really, really dark colors work best, in my opinion, as the base 
for this. So if you want something to be that really nice uh, shiny green, use the darkest green you can. Put this green, gosh, what color is that? 44384. Uh, that's, um, that's the green color. That's the dominant green shade. Uh, let me see, 44384, here it is. Now it says on here that it has yellow, uh, blue, and green in it. And I can see definitely like this, it, it, the yellowish to it. I don't see any blue, although it says it has it on here. Um, it's dominant green and it's fabulous. So do, do really, really dark green paint and then go over it uh, with this and you get that, oh my gosh, it's just so fabulous. Same thing with the red. This was really, really, really dark paint and it really shows that glitter off beautifully. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so this is with three coats. You could even do, I mean, I could even do more than that. I could just keep going and it would just be more and more dramatic. I love this so much. I can, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, my mind is whirling of what I can put this on, what I can use this with. You know, I did see one of their samples. Um, they did a really dark green picture frame and then they coated it with this. They must have coated it, I mean, more than three because it was very dramatic um, how iridescent uh, it was just very very unique I loved the way that looked so you can put it on anything really I just it's it's fantastic I just want to just stare at this color because it's so beautiful okay so the green is my favorite I really, really like that. I think this uh, 44383, this blue dominant, um, that this and this might be, yeah. The 44381 is dominant red. These three are just fantastic. The green, the blue, and, and this red. I love that. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, guys, remember this was the black. This was black, and, in, and when you turn it where the glitter doesn't hit it, it still looks black, but then when you, when you turn it to the light, you can see the purple. Oh, it's so cool. I love that. Okay, so it does dry down high gloss. It's a high gloss finish with glitter in it. That is just amazing. This is fun. This is one of those things um, in your art supplies that you really don't need, but it's so cool to have. I would not call this a must-have product. I would call this just a fun, just something fun and cool to have, and I love it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> crazy swatch video. I'll see you later. Bye.